All right, guys. New project. This is my old master-built charcoal Barbie. Let's see, it's seen through these. Wheels fell off. She's rusted through, busted. Got a new Weber. I got big plans for this guy. <laughs> big, big plans. It's going to get uh, a turbocharger. <laughs> and it's going to be my first uh, kick of the can for a hobby forge, I guess you could say. I was going to do propane forge, but screw it. Charcoal's better. Alright guys. I got this stupid thing in the garage. Cut my thumb in the process pretty good. Not very happy about it. Whatever. <clears throat> Barbecue fought me back. Anywho, I'm tetanused up. We're all right. So, just had to put the stupid wheels back on this thing. New cotter pin. It all fell off when I was pulling it out of the snow. <sighs> anyway, so my idea this old barbecue, I'm going to turn into my first hobby forge. <laughs> I am not 100% confident this is not going to just turn into a big pile of mush, but um, we're going to find out outside, obviously. Um, yeah, so I got, I'm using everything that I already had uh, laying around. I am trying to do a zero dollar blacksmith hobby getting into it um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it or not we're gonna find out so uh, I had a leaf blower this little electric leaf blower it sucked stepped it up to a still um, so I just literally had this one laying around it's going it's got variable speed um, air on it variable speed fan so um, that's why I'm using it I had some exhaust pipe laying around from an old project wasn't using that for anything. A couple of elbows in there. Um, it's going to work out, I think. I think, I think. This piece comes out. Oh my god. Um, so like on the side, from the bottom, like right about here, I want the air to be coming through, up and out. Um, over on the side so I can have coal storage over here, or maybe I add another... Um, air whatever this is called <laughs> um, anyway I'm gonna get at building this thing drilling some holes and cutting some stuff um, and turning it into hopefully something that is a resembles a forge a coal forge yeah so wish me luck Oh, I got this barbecue cleaned out. Um, yeah, it's pretty rusty. So I'm literally going to wing this. Um, I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's in. Obviously it's upside down right now. Well, maybe not obviously, but I'm putting it in from the other side, cutting it beforehand, putting it in from the other side, then bending the flaps over. This piece is gonna permanently stay underneath. You know, like <laughs> anyway, uh, I've got the hole, like it. I don't know how I managed to make it work so well, but I did. 
that helped. Alright guys, so um, I decided I'm just going to do a cut this way, cut this way, so it makes four pieces, and then once I get it into the barbecue, I'm going to expand those pieces, and hopefully that is enough to keep this in place. I mean, we can always reverse engineer in here. Totally crooked, 110% crooked. <laughs> uh, left handed, so I can film it. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. It's gonna do the job that it needs to do. So I will put it up in there. Show you what it looks like with four pieces. All right. So let's see what we got here. Ooh. One in one way. It should go in the other way too. Yeah. Awesome. Right up to the line. So the idea is expand these a bit, as much as I can, and that uh, should hold itself in place. Of course, I made a couple of small ones. Give it a spin. see I got my elbow down here coming out the bottom I, like there's no welding I'm not welding anything here just strictly trying to do this budget build I want to be a hobby blacksmith I want to use what I have to get this done eyeball measurement so in and around here Right and around there, there's going to be some holes. Alright. So, I drilled a whole bunch of holes. I tried not to get them too close. I'm going to put one more. Right there. But uh, other than that, that's what it's going to look like. Alright guys and gals, this is how it's looking. So whole bunch of exhaust elbows right here. I'm gonna figure out how it works best so I can have some sort of P-trap I guess. Um, these all come apart pretty well. I'm thinking that when I need to dump the ash or when I'm not using it I disconnect and have the ash fall out. Jeez. I don't know right now. I'll solve that when it 